I used to feel like, oh, my hair is too high. But no, it's just the people, because trust me, someone will pay for it. Like, what's up youtube it's your girl the one and only slay and i'm back with another video if you are new here i'm lay welcome or if you're not welcome back so today's video is gonna be a little different i usually don't do sit down videos but i'm gonna be talking to y'all today so if you don't know i own my own hair company i'm gonna put it on the screen y'all go check me out on instagram and my website so today's video is gonna be basically how to start a hair business where to do what to do where to look vendors Oddity. I'm gonna be dropping free game for y'all girls because I know a lot of girls want to start hair businesses and I'm not the one to gatekeep, so I'm gonna tell y'all all the tea and all that. I've been a hair business owner for four years. This month actually makes my four year business anniversary, so I'm gonna tell y'all how to do it. So, first things first. I feel like the first thing you need to do before you even find a vendor is find your target audience. Figure out what kind of hair you want to sell. If you want to sell raw hair, virgin hair, if you only want to sell bundles, if you only want to sell tapings, like what you want to sell, and understand the difference in all type of hair. You're supposed to know the difference between virgin hair raw hair like the real difference because a lot of vendors will tell you that it's virgin hair or tell you, tell you that it's raw hair and it's really like some good virgin hair pretty much like a lot of hair isn't real raw hair so first things first figure out the type of hair you want to sell and second is finding a vendor i feel like personally finding a vendor isn't hard but that's probably because I've been doing this for some time now, but starting out, finding a vendor may be difficult. Um, I see a lot of people buying vendors lists. I personally wouldn't recommend buying vendors lists because it's so many vendors on there. You really don't even know where to look, what you're looking for, none of that. So I feel like you need to find about two, three, th two to four good vendors and then go from there um ask them questions like what's the origin of your hair what's the grade of your hair you know get to know what kind of service they're offering so i feel like you should have one to two vendors like main one main vendor but you might not get a vendor that has everything good like all vendors don't have everything good like cer certain vendors may just be good for wigs some may just be good for bundles some may be just good for your 613 wigs like you may not have one vendor and that's fine i think that's fine once you get a little bit more experience i feel like because having two vendors you might mix up orders or it might be a little difficult but I have a vendor who has good wigs bundles tape ins all of that so and also you may need to find like a separate vendor for like your packaging if you want to have like you know the custom bags the custom boxes you can look for vendors for that but also pack lane if you have a hair business and you want to get boxes and stuff made packlane.com is a good place to shop they sell bulk you know you can get as low as 10 boxes you can get 250 boxes however many boxes you want to get next thing is sampling the hair you need to sample the hair you don't just want to get to texting a vendor you know they telling you good stuff they sending you videos because videos can be a little catfish 
but me I got a good eye I know good hair I when I see good hair I can tell it's good hair without even touching it I know good hair so but starting out you definitely need to sample the hair you need to get a sample or you need to test the hair at least at least a month or two you need to test it color it bleach it make sure it's not shedding make sure it's not tingling like of course when you first get the hair and you running your hands through it it's not gonna tingle it's not gonna shed as much but wearing it constantly you see how it tingles or how it sheds so definitely definitely make sure you are testing out vendors before you sending them thousands of dollars like you're gonna you're you're gonna be disappointed not all vendors are scams but some of them they gonna take your money like if you just off the bat giving them two thousand a thousand dollars without even building a relationship with them they gonna think you sweet so they they gonna take your money another thing that i would advise is if you don't um know where to look where to start if you bought hair from a hair company you could ask them if they're selling their hair vendor i do sell a hair vendor not my personal hair, hair vendor but a hair vendor that i have worked with in the past so if y'all are interested in starting a hair business and would like to buy my hair vendor you can just email me or um direct message me on instagram so yeah ask a trusted advisor who you a company you've bought hair from or someone who you see who has a hair company buy their hair try it out you know do that and that's another great way that you can um get hair the next thing i want to say is budget your money like if you're going in and you want to get a specific well if you have a specific amount of money see how much you can get with the money that you have and also remember to include shipping costs because this hair is coming from internationally so you have to um you have to incorporate the shipping prices some vendors have paypal prices if you're paying through paypal you will have to pay a paypal fee so yeah and another thing while we on the topic of the payments that vendors accept i don't recommend sending money to these vendors through western union because say they do um take your money and don't see your product you can dispute the charge with paypal western union once the money's gone it's a wrap so i would advise to send through paypal paypal will not let you down so that's what i recommend don't just sell hair just to sell hair make sure you have the customers that you want to sell to if you're a younger 17 year old 18 year old i would advise if you're selling hair your hair prices to be reasonable reasonable because you're 17 you're 18 a lot of girls aren't gonna pay 400 500 dollars for hair or for wigs so just be mindful of your target audience please the next thing we're going to talk about is what makes your product sales so if you are not advertising if you're not getting your hair done making sure your hair looks good tagging yourself well tagging your hair business in your posts and all of this stuff your products are not gonna sell like unless you just come up straight off the back and you're just a popular person and people want to shop with you then hey you that girl like you you got it but a lot of people don't just come up straight off the back 20 30 like just having orders like constantly it it, it don't happen like that and it don't happen overnight like I told y'all, I've been selling hair for four years, and it's been days where you get no orders. It's days where you get buku orders. Like, you, if it's something that you really want to do, you have to stay to it. Like, 
don't get discouraged don't worry about what this company is doing don't worry about what that company is doing do something that is going to make you stand out from any other company like that that's just how i feel like that's what you got to do like you got to be different there's different multiple hair companies out here like you got to make the customers think no i want to shop with her because she got this and this going on or she got this and that going on like you know just be different the next thing i want to talk about is pricing okay this topic is you know i don't know it's different for everybody starting out you're not gonna be expected to make well it all depends on how you play it honestly starting out i'm gonna let y'all know now 20 40 60 dollars well, a profit is a profit, so I'm not going to say that's not a profit. A profit is a profit, but just make sure you're getting at least double what you're paying for the hair. If you're paying $150 for the wig, don't sell it for $170. Like, what is that? Like, what is that doing? Like, you know, just just make it make sense just make it make sense don't just do it just to do it make it make sense like you know that's just how i feel at least when pricing you got to put in products into consideration so if you're buying wigs and you're also buying like the boxes the mailers the bags incorporate how much you put how much you spent for those products inside the wigs prices so you can get the wigs back so you can make all your money back for what you spent at least like that's the smart thing to do at least make sure you're making all of your money back all right next thing we're gonna touch on is you do not have to have money to start a hair business you can do drop shipping method when i first started my hair company this is what i used i used drop shipping and basically what drop shipping is is um you have your website and you're letting your customers know that they are pre-ordering the hair and that the hair is not on hand please make sure that they do know this because you will have some customers that do not read and they'll text like oh where's my order i ordered such and such and such and my order is not here yet so let it be known like in a description on your product thing that this is a pre-order so basically um what drop shipping is is you have your products listed you have your customers order your product once the order is processed through the website you go have your vendor um ship the order straight from the vendor factory to your customers or if you don't want to do it that way like if you want to have like a special box and stuff that you want to ship your hair in you can have the vendor ship it from them to you then you ship it to the customer the only thing with that is that it just takes a little more time so say if your vendor you order the hair and it takes about three or four days to get to you then it's going to be about another two to three days unless you do next day shipping then that's going to be extra time for it to get to the customer but that's always a good method drop shipping is a great method to start out with because you know, sometimes you don't have $2,000, $3,000 to just start out with inventory. So, if you want to do pre-orders, I would recommend you doing pre-orders. Um, I'm jumping from topic to topic, honestly. But, uh, another thing is be original. When you're starting a hair business, you should be original. Do not copy off anybody. Honestly, yes, it's um it's normal for you to see something that someone else is doing it's like oh i like that but you know at least put a little pizzazz on it you know make it your own you do not want to be like anybody else so i would say make sure that you're being different different is what the people like so make sure you're being different you're being unique you're bringing something different to the table because like I said, there's hundreds of hair companies out here. So you just have to make sure that yours is different. It's going to be the last thing I'm going to touch on. And then we're going to wrap up the video. But this will be a series. So I will be doing like different videos about entrepreneurship. And things that I think you guys should know. So y'all just stay tuned. But the last thing is. 
you will not be able to please everybody like you just won't so don't stress yourself out if this person says this like honestly constructive criticism is good but there will be some people who just want to hate so certain people will literally just buy from you just to find something bad to say about your hair business so i just feel like you know if you really want to do this keep your focus and stay true to what you want to do you will not be able to please everybody and that's okay that's why going back to what i said before find your target audience because everybody is not for you if they feel like your prices are too high then i mean that's just not your target already audience period like that's just what it is like i used to feel like oh my hair is too high but no it's just the people because trust me someone will pay for it like there will be customers how much is it you could say seven hundred dollars i'll be like okay send it in now those are the customers that you appreciate and those are the customers that you do good good business with always make sure you do good business that's how you bring more business that's how you bring back business so yes that's all i'm having that's all i'm saying in this video i don't want to tell y'all too much but i'm never saying gave y'all nothing because i just gave y'all some free advice so yeah take what i said go find your vendor make sure you use whatsapp do your research these vendors are on instagram tiktok like just find a good vendor and make sure you're testing out the hair so that's all i'm gonna say y'all stay tuned for the next episode and make sure y'all like and comment and subscribe and check out my hair company at trendy hair comb